you're talking to Ms. Gratitude. I am the gratitude specialist on the planet. I have done a Shehechi Yanu moment. I call, that's what I call it. Um, pretty much every day of, of my life, based on the blessing over time, which we normally say at the beginning of a Simcha, a happy event. What are we really saying? We're thanking God for allowing us to live to see this moment. It's the moment, it's that time, it's stopping time, saying, look where you are, look what you have, look how beautiful this is, look how brilliant that child is, look how glorious this book was. It's a moment. It's whenever I have that rush of sheer and absolute appreciation for being alive at that moment, or just having lived through a moment like that. I had breast cancer. The fact that I'm still here and the fact that I sort of got beyond it is the wonder of the ordinary, the miracle of the ordinary, the miracle of not having to go for radiation when that was my norm. So much to be grateful for if you just really, you know, look at it in contrast to something that once made you miserable. And now it's not happening anymore. My mother died when I was 15 years old. I've always remembered how I felt when my father and I drove out to what was then Idlewild Airport, Kennedy Airport, to pick up my uncle who flew in from Florida. And I looked out the window at the cars and I saw people laughing and smiling and just being still. And I thought, how could they be living these ordinary lives when my mother just died? I don't have a mother anymore. Why are all these people looking ordinary and then I got it. You know, I'm the star of my own movie. We're all the stars of our own movie. The weight of what lies ahead for me and all of that and the people in those cars didn't have it and they don't even know how lucky they are. Those contrasts just seemed so vivid that I promised myself I would never forget them and I would always try to be grateful for not feeling as miserable as I did that day. I always wonder what atheists do because who do you blame, who do you thank if you don't believe in some higher power? Where do you put your gratitude? Who's it being expressed to? Are you thanking Mother Nature? I don't know, I need to have a larger concept as the repository for my gratitude, so it makes me a believer. And so I have a pretty much a Shehachiana moment every single day, and I say it fast in my head, but more importantly, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm just, literally, I don't know what to do with my my pleasure and happiness about that moment. Mm -hmm.